G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 18, when we're back for day 53 of the Wastelands series, coming in to dawn, coming into watching that sunrise over the hill, over Yonkers once again, and today is going to be a bit of a day. There's a lot of things I need to do that I've kind of been neglecting because I, I mean, we all know how much of a loot fiend I am and I've been getting far too distracted by anything shiny, whether it be a letterbox or a POI or a quest or whatever that glints off in the distance. And I haven't been doing what I actually need to have been doing to get myself ready for the next horde base. So, well, that's horde base, next horde night rather. Get my horde base ready for the horde night. There we go, English is difficult. So today I need to go and real quick, dig myself up some more coal and some more nitrate because I'm a little bit shy on both of them. I can, I can need 100 more coal, I can make a stack of gunpowder. I'm going to go for two stacks because I would really like to have some more slug ammo. There's going to be more and more demos tonight and I'm going to be in so much more trouble than I have been before. So I need plenty more of those. I've got plenty of normal shotgun ammo. That doesn't uh, bother me too much. But I also need to go and get some more iron because I blew my iron load on making myself all the junk turret ammo that I don't have enough forge steel anymore. So those are the two things I need to do today. So let's grab some coffee just as the sun rises, the way the coffee should be enjoyed. Let's quickly head out and head to our nearest coal and nitrate mine. In fact, come to think of it, uh, nitrate, lead, and iron. Oh, if only that was nitrate, coal, and iron, then that mine in the western village would have everything that I needed, but it doesn't. I'll hit up the coal mine, I'll hit up the nitrate and uh, iron mine, get everything we need out of that, and then hopefully we'll have some time left over in the day to do some looting, because I always have to do some looting. It's just who I am. Before I go down into the hole, let's just quickly deal with this old little puppy here. Oh, that was probably a landmine there too, but he, he managed to avoid just that little bit. Although I have pissed off old matey potato over there, so he'll come over and lick my sledge. I'm like all good zombies do. If I had some time and patience, I could probably build like a little wall or something around the mine here so I don't have to worry about zombies coming down and teabagging my noggin from the top of the mine. But, oh, he's already dead. All right, he died in one. But, I mean, I just don't have the time or patience for that. So, let's go like this. Let's, in fact, I'll keep you there. We'll change the fire axe out, given there's not much wood underground these days. And just put you like there. That'll do for now. All right, Tezza, I'll be back in a little bit. Don't get too worried the fact that I'm leaving. I will come back for you and give you a little shiggity snack in a little bit. God, this mine has gotten so big. I remember when I first found this mine and it was really, really tiny, but now look at it. It's monstrous. Before I do anything, I'm just going to clear out some of the stone around here so I can get an easy, quick view of where all the coal actually is. There's so much, like, gravel and stuff that fills up the mines. It just makes it harder. Harder than it really needs to be. All right, that, that should be enough. I can see lots of coal now. So I've got my XP goggles on. Let's uh, drink some coffees. Let's get our pickaxe out and start hammering away. That's a shovel. I said change it. There you go. Change your tool game. Oh, yes, delicious. Now, I do have... I, fi I think I finished the minus 69. Not the minus 69. The, the books about mining. Let's quick double check. Waste some time on my coffee. Um, Where is it? Even here somewhere. I'm pretty sure I finished it. Why can't Art of Mining? Art of Mining 7 out of 7, so I have a 20% chance of one-shotting ore. I definitely just heard something upstairs, but that's all right. Terry will protect me. I'll put my faith in Tessa. He will slap the titties. There he goes. Never get the opportunity to. Dip and salsa, slap and titties. That's all Terry's about. He loves it. He just murdered someone too. Good job, Tessa. Oh my God. I just thought of the best expression ever for Tessa. <laughs> Dip and chips and slap and tits. I need to make that a bumper sticker or something and slap it on Terry's booty because that is the perfect summation of what Terry is all about. He loves his salsa. He loves dipping. He loves titties. He's all about it. Oh, sneaky deaky. There's iron down here. I didn't even realize. I got so distracted by like just flat out mining all the coal. I've got far more now than I really intended on getting to start with. That I've, I've gone so deep into this place that I've accidentally stumbled across an iron vein too. Well, I'm not going to turn down that slice of apple pie. I'll just finish off this little bit here. Finish off like the last minute of uh, mining coal since so we've come this far. And I shouldn't have to need it again for a while. And then I'll grab some iron too. I might be able to get all of this done nice and quickly. Yes, there was iron at the nitrate mine. But I mean, I'm not going to turn it down now. If I'm already here, I can make short work of it. I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm still laughing over dipping chips and slapping tits. If there was a way I could make that a shirt without actually having to write tits on a shirt, I definitely would. If I come up with a way to get around that, then I expect that shirt to come out at some point because that's freaking... Oh, man. I'm going to be giggling about that for the next, like, two hours. I'll be like, filming day 54. And I'll be going to bed that night. And I'll still be giggling about it. God, I think I'm hilarious. At least I do. No one else does. 
Last couple of seconds of the coffee bonus. I'll just quickly finish off these blocks here. Now I've damaged them anyway. Hit you and you were the other one. There we go. So I came out of that. I now have 4,000 coal. That's a fair slice of pineapple. Got some gems as well. All right. Well, I need the iron too. So let's just drink another coffee. Get over to the iron segment and start swinging around that one too. Now iron. I mean, last time I mined iron, I got like double the amount of iron that I did coal or nitrate or lead, whatever else I was mining at the time. So I feel like you get more iron per swing, which I'm fine with. And now I also have that mod in my pickaxe to be more efficient at mining iron too. So hopefully I'll come out of this with like, I don't know, 12,000 iron or something like that. That should be enough to make myself a fair whack of forged steel. And a fair whack of forged steel means I can upgrade a lot of my base and hopefully survive many demolishers exploding all over my face. I know mining episodes aren't the most enthralling videos you could possibly make, but it's an important part of Seven Days. And I was saying before, I do neglect it pretty often and go about and do the more action-packed kind of episodes. But sometimes you just got to buckle down and you got to do the right thing. You got to go get the resources you need. You can't fight zombies unless you have the resources. And occasionally you're just going to go get the resources and not rely on the random generator, uh, random number generator of the loot mechanism. Because let's be honest, I've been dicked over by that loot uh, uh, mechanism of the game more more often than I would like to talk about. In the last couple of seconds, um, I did stop mining for a second. Out of stamina, last second gone. What have I got? I've got 8,000 iron. How much does it take to make a forged uh, steel? It takes 30. So if I've got almost 9,000, so it's 30. So oh, that's okay. That's a couple of hundred. That should be pretty okay. Do I need some more? Should I go for like the full 12,000, or should I uh, cut my losses and go and mine some nitrate? I mean, I'm not too pressed for time. The horde isn't until, like, they feel... I mean, I'm, I'm already here mining, so I may as well just, like, keep on going. Drink another coffee. Let's just do one more coffee of it. Another three minutes of mining. Oh, I can't be too bad. But I'm not, yeah, I'm not, like, under the pump because horde night is still a little bit away. Got a little bit of time up my sleeve. So I can stay for a little bit longer um, and just get the job done, I suppose. I don't have to stay here forever. If it's a little bit longer, we'll be fine. Down to the last 25 seconds of the coffee perk. Uh, and I've dug myself a pretty nifty little hole. I've gone down further. Went down further in this iron mine than I ever did in the coal segment of this mine. Oh, God, don't let that fall on your noggin, though, please. Waste of time. Last couple are... What have I got? I've got 9,000 just from this coffee alone. So that's going to put me up to, what, like, almost 20,000 iron? That should be enough to at least last me through the next horde night, both with junk tart ammo and forged steel. There we go. It's now done. What have we got? We got eighteen. We got like what nineteen thousand iron. That's uh, that's a fair old wad of iron. How do I get out of this place now? I'm completely lost. Where's the way up? Where's the way out, guys? I'm stuck in a mine. Can someone please send a rescue crew? I don't know which way's up or down. It just spit and see what goes. Which way it dribbles? I don't know how to get out of here. There we go. Okay, get my frames. No, stand on the last frame and jump straight up. There we go. Now, please, Terry, have been protecting me all this time. I think I actually dug far enough away that whatever was up here would have passed on by without even stopping. We good. We good. All right, grab you. Let's head on over to the western town and grab our nitrate. I'm so glad I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll never forget something across that, that coal mine. I mean, there's lots of iron and stuff around, and I could have dug down some of the iron mines to hopefully come, stumble across a different kind of resource underneath the ground. But finding that little coal node was a really, really good time. Since then, I found the other one over to the east, no, the west rather, as well. So there are other options, but like, just finding those resources is so incredibly important. Think about how much ammo I've burned through, how much shotgun ammo I have, and how much I depend on that. If I didn't find that coal vein, if, so if someone in the legend of the comments with the eyes of a fucking hawk didn't see the nitro mine out of here when I was just kind of riding past it, then I wouldn't have any of that ammo. So, oh, it's just, I'm so happy someone pointed that out. I would never have found this mine if my life depended on it. So, oh God, I didn't put Terry down. Sorry, Tezza. So thank you for pointing it out to me. I forgot what your name was, but you're a fucking superstar and you've kept me alive this long. Here we go. Coffee's in. No, that's a frame. Use the pickaxe, please. There you go. I'm actually not too far away from the next level up, too. I do have that one skill point there waiting to be used. I can't use it yet, though. I need to wait until I have three of them to buy the next level of my strength perk. And with that strength perk, and the next point will be my uh, my boomstick perk, so my shotgun gets even better. It is kind of like a catch-22, though. I make the shotgun better against zombies, but I also make it easier to kill buildings with the shotgun, which is very, very annoying. I really wish guns didn't do that much damage to, like, like, like structures, I suppose. Like, I can break concrete blocks uh, very, very easy. I can break wooden blocks with, like, one hit with a max level of broomstick. So, it does actually come with a bit of a price to pay to be that damaging. 
I mean, it's not the way I would have done it, but whatever. It's the way the game is. It's the way we have to play it. The good and the bad little quirks of this game is what makes it interesting. That's why it's so good that there's always a new alpha coming out like every six months, especially these days, because the game always changes and becomes fresh. I spent $5 on this game like six years ago, and I've got hundreds, almost like thousands of hours in it now. Best $5 I've ever spent. Better than a Subway foot long, that is for sure. I didn't really notice it last time, but I've got like 14,000 experience so far from mining this. Now, I do have my XP goggles on. Uh, I think I left all my learned elixirs over at the horde base, but if I had like sunk down some learned elixir on top of my coffees, I mean, that's some pretty, that's like the most extreme version of coffees and frothies, given it's not super frothy and just straight acetone. Ooh, with a gold nugget as well, but like that's a lot of experience to be getting. No wonder miners always level up so bloody quick. Keep on going, 30 more seconds. Here I've got like 4,000 nitrate. I'm not going to stick around and uh, spend a second coffee down here. It's already almost 10 a.m. Uh, and day 55 is the next trading day as well. So I'll quickly get this. I'll go over. I'll get the gunpowder on the craft. I may even need to build myself a second chemistry station to try and pump it out just that little bit quicker. I can put that chemistry station over at the horde base, I suppose, to try and like, improve the infrastructure of my survival. It's like playing Age of Empires. You need a, a good uh, economy to build a big army. So the first thing you've got to get going is is all your villages. If you don't have villages, you don't have shit. Here we go, up and out. It uses all of my stamina to get out of my hole, but that's okay. We'll probably build a ladder there one day, but that is a job for another time and another Josh. What have we got? We've got 5,000 of that. We've got, yeah, okay, we're, we're swimming. We're swimming in goodness. We're good to go. Let's head on back home. Bit low on your gasoline, but that's all right. At some point, I'll just go and like harvest a whole bunch of cars and refill my gasoline stocks. That's not so much of an issue. I'm doing all this just for anti-demo stuff too. It's just upping the difficulty to insane just increases the game stage so much that I'm actually really nervous about what's going to come my way. The last Horde night, I just got thrown a whole bunch of demos. I'm finding demos all over the gaff when I go raiding. So Horde night's going to be a whole other kettle of fish. And not a delicious fish like a can of tuna. Oh no, this is going to be a kettle of fucking piranhas. Even though it's the opposite direction, I'm still going to take the effort to go all the way around, spin around and use my wonderful ramp. I spent all that time building it. I'm going to actually want to use it. Shit. Oh my god, you bastard, you bastard, you booped my schnoots, you sent me back down the ramp, that was the height of rudeness game, god, just like, ease it up, ease it up, there you go, definitely need to sort out that ramp a little bit better, so the drawbridge opens a little bit sooner than what it does right now, what's actually in you right now, just a whole bunch of petrol, okay, no lacquers. oh my god, right, how, did I take everything with me actually, I think I did, I did not grab both of you, that's pretty spot on. Okay, let's have a quick look. What is it going to take to make all this gunpowder? Two hours. So they're 50 minute days. So two hours at this point is going to get done just before Horde Night. So I won't actually have the opportunity to make myself the ammo. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to make three of you, which is going to take an hour. So let's go like that. That's too many. 56. Um, 60 minutes. How many? Was that close enough? Uh, just three, actually. Sorry, three. 63, I can do that. One, two, that'll be perfect. Right, okay, you've got enough there. Mix you. So while that's going on, I'll take those frames back. I'm going to myself a new chemistry station. Chemistry station. What do you need? Beaker. I've got plenty of those. Grab one of you. Thank you very much. Um, what is it? Burning barrel, cooking pot. Oh, do I have cooking pots? I don't have... I've been scrapping all of my cooking pots. Feck. Okay, well, what's it going to take to make myself... I'm going to make myself a cooking pot. Oh, my, how the times have changed. I'm going to need lots more iron. Like, I've got plenty of it here. Just, like, bang you into there. Get you on the go as well. If I make myself that second chemistry station, I can... Well, half the time it's going to take to get all my gunpowder going and actually get some uh, ammo production on the go. So it's the same kind of thing I'm thinking about the forged steel. Like, I could get... I was just got like this, actually. Go half in there and half in there. So you can get some resources into your... But I need to get myself some clay. Oh, I've got not a lot of clay, actually, for the other forge back at the horde base. I'm going to go there in a second anyway. In fact, I'll take you and you for a future purpose that you will see in a second. Something I've been planning for a while. This has never got around to. Boom. Grab you. Grab the burning barrel. Chemistry station. Craft one of those. That's going to take 30 seconds. Definitely a good investment of time and resources. Got my chemistry station. I can just go down there for the moment. The rest of that should be fine. All right, let's quickly blow this popsicle stand and go and see the horde base. My map is all blown out again. What quests do I actually have right now? They're all so freaking far away. Uh, your lodge one and your business or business strip. All right, fair enough. Let's have a quick look on the map. 
I don't recognize that just in the map point of view. It's just, it's just so inconvenient to get down to that town, though. Like, I could go on the road past the trader and kind of follow off-road down to there, I suppose. That's about the quickest way I can go, because that's a mountain range just there. It's just really inconvenient to try and go that way. What about the, um, the C3? Have a quick little gander at you. You're kind of the same. You're kind of on the way. So I might even have to kind of hit that, then hit that one, maybe even tomorrow, I suppose. I just want to get the Horde base all sorted out now. But I don't have to worry about it later. Let's just, like, swing right on the roof. Ow! Like, that dig my spikes into the ground and do a little bit of damage. My poor motorcycle has seen some better days. That's right. It can go down all the way down to 1% health. It'll still work just fine. And one repair kit will get it back to normal. At least I think that's the way it works. Never actually felt the need to repair my motorcycle before. It never actually gets that damaged. Actually, while I'm here... I do need to rebuild, like, the little wall here to kind of give, like, a hurdle for the zombies to jump over. Because at the moment, I mean, Terry does his best, but he could do better if you had a little bit more time to shoot those muppets in the face. So I should probably rebuild that thing. I feel there's a lot of stuff up here I need to rebuild too. God, I haven't done, like, any base repairs since the Horn. I did a little bit, like, just, like, uh, repairing the blocks and upgrading a couple. But the actual mechanisms of the base, I've just kind of left alone, which probably wasn't a great idea. Um, I can't block that up over there. Can't, uh... I don't know where to put this. You know what? Where is my axe? Let's go like this. Terry, I don't need you right this very second. Let's just punch a little hole in my sidewall here and just put the chemistry station just out here. Doesn't matter if it's inside this little hut or not. Just as long as it's somewhere nearby. I uh, need another three of you. So that was, what, like an hour, 80 minutes, 40 minutes, 60 minutes, and one, two, three. Oh, no, no, one less. Like that. Like there. Okay, there we go. Three of you. Mix that. Thank you very much. Oh, man, it's exhausting trying to keep track of all this shit. It really bloody is. You're going. That's fine. I need to go... Didn't I bring a forge over here? Or was that just my flat-out imagination? Probably my imagination. Shit. Oh, no, I put the other forge back at home. It was for my cement stuff. That was silly. Okay, well... I could make myself another forge. Let's leave it over here, I suppose. I don't have the stuff on me right now, but I could go get it. It only takes a minute to make, or I could just go home and just fill up my cement forge with iron and clay and make something out of there. That's probably the better option. Uh, what's actually around here? While I'm here, do I have any rebar frames left over over this side? I do not. Got, there's my learned elixir. There's some recog. We'll keep that in mind for later. Nah. Okay. Well, that's all right. I'll go home. I'll get that forge on the go because that can't really wait. And then I'll come back here and do some upgrades. I have some things in mind that will give me a real good idea. I just need to actually implement it. So you've got like 4,000 clay in you. So that's not going to be a massive issue. But this other one... Oh, I didn't, even, I didn't even keep that burning, actually. Whatever. You can just have all the frames. You can get burning. But I needed the stone. I'll put a whole bunch of, of uh, cobble in there instead of my actual stones. Because I've got all this cobble for no reason. And that loads the same stuff in. However, you're very quickly uh, going to be like... Ex uh, max out on stone. So I'll get you crafting the next lot. Maybe I just use this one then. You have clay in there already. Actually, that's going to be the right way to go. Let's go uh, let's, let's go like this actually. We'll go like there. You go there. Um, that way. There we go. 4,500 clay in either one. I have no frames left over, which is kind of upsetting. I have plenty of wood. God, I'm burning. I'm burning through so much stuff so quickly. The only thing I'm not burning through today is actual zombies. Let's just go like 500. Fuck it. Let's just make 500 frames. It's the maximum stack you can make out of, uh, like, the, the frame block. I may as well do it, you know? I always use the frames. Although it's like I gotta, like, not need them at some point. That seems like a pretty good idea to me. Got the steel on the go. Is there any more in here for me? There is. I'll take you because I need to go and do some upgrades to the base just, just right now. You know, the day is almost more well, mostly gone. So I may as well take advantage of that while I got the opportunity to make sure I land wheels down. How did that one hurt? I understood the last one where I dug the spikes balls deep into the ground like the cowboy burying a spike into Arlene. But that one landed like square on my wheels. That shouldn't have hurt me at all. Maybe I build like, like a dismount ramp or something. I don't know. Maybe just like going evil can evil off the building every time isn't so great both for my legs and the bike's legs or wheels, I suppose. I suppose the wheels are the the legs of the bike. I don't know. I'm getting... <laughs> I'm, I'm way too sober to be talking like that. Okay. So let's try and figure this shit out. Let's go across like this. I like having that kind of hurdle. In fact, I might even go a little bit like cheeky deeky like that and just kind of make like it so that it's narrow in the middle so that the zombies only have one way to get in and that's where Terry and Terry 2 can have their way with them. So I'll quickly open this one up like that. Don't really care about the roof being cooked. As long as these blocks here are strong, that should be A-OK -okay for me. Let's go get the nail gun and some cement. I've got my rebar frames and I've got some steel. We can really make an impact right now. 
My poor blocks have all been cooked so freaking hard. I'm gonna upgrade these ones to be steel. And it's kind of funny. A lot of people are like, really upset that these blocks here aren't like nice and neat and on the ramp. But I actually really like it because it means that when the zombies come around, they generally don't run up this way. They come here and they stop and prop and go up like that. And if they do kind of get overwhelmed or coming from this way, then they run in like that and then come here and stop again. So I like having like a platform there to murder the zombies on. I mean, after all, it's my base. I can do whatever the fuck I like. How about, how about how about them apples? I'll go for Matt Damon and slap this design up against the window and ask you how you like it. But in the meantime, while I'm thinking about that little image right there, I'm going to upgrade all of these. I want to make as much of, uh, of this as uh, steel as possible. I mean, as long as the floor and the ramp here are steel, that's the important part. The walls less so. It doesn't matter where the zombies come from, I suppose. However, they were trying to like, like tunnel up and around here last time. So I might just go like these ones here. As I right, that was my last thing of steel. Cool. Cool bananas. I've got plenty more coming, which is why I'm doing it now, not later. Let's get you guys upgraded. Oh, there is bonds of mate level up. I've got two skill points to spend, but I need four. Let's just upgrade all of these. Fuck it, why not? It gives us experience, and I like experience. Just like, fuck my mouth with the experience. Get your nail gun and put it in me. So I know that there needs to be all like finished off like that. Now, do I have any wood on me? I don't think I, no, I left it all back home after I made all those frames and my iron, which I kind of need. I need to make myself some more uh, hatches just to go here. In fact, I can probably find the materials for that just like outside the front door, given it's just wood and iron. But if that's like that, that should be fine. Uh, I don't have this, uh, the steel to upgrade that block there. God, half this base has a crack in it somewhere. Like, the whole bloody place has cracks or something. There is uh, structural in, uh, integrity issues all over the place. But I can worry about that later on. Let's get all you guys upgraded soon. Now, this is a probably good, a good time to start thinking about what I'm going to do about turrets and stuff. I want to start implementing some turrets uh, into the design here. So... What I'm going to do, let's get my pickaxe, let's just get rid of the, the shovel, which I don't need right now. I think, I think these ones here, if I get rid of these blocks here and make like a little window for my turrets to see through, I can have a line of turrets up the top. I'll run some power there and that should be fine. So when the demos or the zombies or whatever actually make it past the first hurdle, literally given it's right there, and start coming up to my wall, that's when the turrets can just go open season on them and rinse and repeat and murder everything they can bloody see. So... That could be the window is there. I'll get rid of these blocks here too. So once they get to about here, I suppose, that's this like line here is where the, the turrets will see the zombies. Let's grab this. Let's go here. Let's go some nice shade of red, that one. And just paint you red all the way along there. So that like, I know where the line is where the turret's going to go. And this is what I was talking about before. This is the idea I have. I want to go... What's going to be a nice color for it, actually? Let's go metal white. I'm going to paint all of this white so I can actually see the cracks. You can see, like, here, the cracks kind of get lost into the texture of the steel blocks. And I don't like that because it's harder for me to see. But if I paint it all white, then I'll be able to see the cracks a bit easier, which means I'll know to repair it before it's too late. In fact, I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to paint all of, like, the killing floor here red so when the bodies hit the floor, you can smash that high hand and go... Ksh, ksh, and then scream at the zombies... I'm going to paint all of that, all of that red. So when it gets to here, this is where the bloodbath happens. It's red from paint and soon it will be replaced by red with blood. That'll, that'll be fine. That'll be A-OK. -okay. Can I upgrade you? No, because I have no steel. Okay, that'll be fine. Let's get rid of the rest of these and I'll go back home and I'll grab the rest of the steel and hopefully do some more. In fact, maybe... No, no, no. I'll open up the window and then I'll go and try and do the hatches. Let's not get distracted halfway through a job, Josh. Finish the job, then go get distracted. I'm going to upgrade these blocks here because this will be where the turrets are actually going to sit. Would three be enough, you reckon? In fact, is that going to be... Oh, it's, I mean, that's actually not so bad because if they're sitting here, that's going to be the limit of their vision. I could get rid of the next set of blocks so they can see up onto that killing platform over there. I'm just not sure about it, though. Uh, no, I think that's probably the right idea, actually. So I'll get rid of you guys. In fact, while I'm thinking about it, underneath, I'll go like this. I'll go you, and I'll go ramp, and I'll stick you to the ceiling. Because that'll give me, like, a, a kind of an extra block of protection. So if a demo does explode down here, it's not going to break the blocks underneath the turrets. So they should hopefully not fall down and get broken on the floor. I'm really curious how this is actually going to pan out. I mean, I just... 
Turrets are a liability. Terry the turret, we know how much Terry loves dipping chips and slapping tits. So an auto turret or a shotgun turret even, uh, even worse than that. I mean, that's just a, 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 a propped up powered active liability to slap some demo nips. And if you have a look at it, like if I shoot a demo in the face and he flops down there, he's going to be lying on his back with his tits facing the sky. So that all of the turrets are going to stare, look, see that bloody bright green light and like a mosquito going towards a bug zapper, they are going to slap his nips. And that's going to get me killed. I mean, demos start exp uh, exploding right in front of me. I'm going to have an issue. So I might need to build in some sort of way, like a, like a kill switch or something like that. A way, I mean, well, that's the problem though. I'd have to either have a pressure plate that I stand on during the horde that actively turns on the turrets, which I might actually do because there's no way I can like flick a switch and oh, I can actually have a switch there. But then if something does explode nearby, it'll break the switch and then I can't turn on the turrets anymore. I had that back in like Alpha 17 in like the day 7000 killing corridor. A cop exploded and ruined all my, all my switches. I remember that. I should probably try and learn from the experiences of the past. But I think that's the best way to go, because otherwise a demo's gonna lie on his back down there, get his titties all sorts of slapped around, and make me pay for it. Just gonna quickly go and grab some iron and some wood so I can make myself my uh, my hatches while I'm out here. Let's so stop you over for that one. Uh, I do also need to go. I mean, it's train day tomorrow, I suppose, so it's not too much of an issue. I need to go hatch, please. Uh, just straight to iron hatch? Sure. Two, I need a couple bits more of iron. I'm gonna skip the wood hatch entirely. Where can I find some iron? Any iron around? I could just like actually just scrap the car because I could also get some fuel out of that, which isn't a bad idea. Not a bad old shake of the sauce bottle. Yeah, I need to go back to the, the, the traders and buy the turrets. I know I bought them last time and I was trying to save some turrets back home, but I think at this point we could all agree. I haven't had any radiator vultures at home for a while. So I think if I just prioritize having it here, that's probably a better share. All right, so we can see from this one here that that like that little square there is the top left. So if I get my hatches like this, little square on the top left, like you, and then no, not that one. Damn it, went one too far. That's right, it's Alpha 18 now. I can tap R to go back the other way, and you there. Yep, that is perfect. Okay, can I upgrade you guys? Any iron left over? I have a little bit. Let's go all the way up. Given you take the most amount of punishment than any of them. I could turn it into vault doors, I suppose. What does a vault door actually take? Vault, if I could type properly. Vault hatch. Forge steel springs mechanical parts. I mean, it's probably not a bad idea, but it's not actually that critical. I mean, I did kind of get overwhelmed the last time, but look how fast they open up. Hatch doors don't open that quickly. At least the animation doesn't, and that's a gamble I'm not willing to take right now. I'm gonna quickly just duck on home and have a look at what turrets I actually have available to me. I kind of want to use the auto turrets because, well, I mean, they use 9mm ammo, which I have no real use for, and it's a fair distance, so I'm not, how, I'm not sure how effective the shotgun turrets might be, but I do have a couple of both types, so maybe, given I have such a plethora of shotgun ammo and can make so much more, maybe I just, like, double up, you know? Maybe I have shotgun turrets there and the 9mm turrets to kind of have the best of both worlds. Both of them are going to start titties. That's not an issue in my head. I mean, it is an issue, but it's not the issue I can avoid by having a different type. What have I got? I've got four shotgun turrets. I've got... No? SMG turrets? Uh, you fucking... What? Oh, no, they are the SMG turrets. I have no shotgun turrets. I know I could have bought them. I could probably go buy them right now, actually. But is... I mean, I feel like that's the best option. Having the best of both worlds seems like a pretty good idea. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Let's see, what have we got? I'll just grab some fat stacks of cash. I will go, in fact, while I'm here, before I forget, let's go here, forge steel. Map myself 89 of those. You, map myself 89 of those. That's a nice little coinky dink. Yeah, we're still pumping along nice. We're still cruising along. Uh, you need to make some more cement too, so you don't get overloaded. So much cement, so much steel, so much everything. Hey, we're looking in here too. You, you are done. Let's grab you guys and you guys and my polymers. I might need to go on a polymer raid. So doing it now will mean I can actually know that. I can go and carve down some boxes to get the polymers I need. But first, let's go see Trady. Let's go buy some shotgun turrets. Oh man, it's all it's all cracking along. It feels a little bit uh, a little bit weird to have gone almost a whole day in seven days and I've only murdered like two zombies. Murdered the zombie dog and then the construction site guy at the very, very start. Terry murdered one zombie too. So we've got three kills for the day. That's, that's probably like the, the, the quietest day ever. I don't know, Wandering Horde might yet show up and throw that equation right under the bus, but 
I mean, so far, nothing has really happened, but I'm kind of okay with it, given I, I desperately need to focus <coughs> on what I'm doing. Grab that one. Let's go here. All right, what have you got for me? Uh, I need shotgun turret. Shotgun, no, not no shit shotgun, not a double barrel shotgun in here. Uh, turret. Shotgun auto turret. I'll buy two of you. I think that's the right call. I really do. So I'm going to have the shotgun turrets maybe on like the inside and the SMG turrets on the outside. I can only reload them at the end of the whole nut anyway, but that should give me, that should cover kind of all my bases as good as I can possibly hope for, I think. Let's do this nice and quickly. We spent almost the whole episode just in this one place, but that's okay. You guys should be proud of me for a change. Rather than like cruising through a week, raiding and pillaging and murdering, and then suddenly realizing on the sixth day that I've got half a day left to actually prepare my horde base. This time I'm actually ahead of the curve and actually paying attention to what I need to do. So let's open both of you, 2000 gunpowder, and let's go. Oh my God, you're, com you're completely full. Take all of you. I completely forgot that I did that. Okay, in here, let's go shotgun, shotgun AP ammo. So my limiting factor is my scrap polymers. Right, well, I can go and fix that pretty uh, quickly. However, what's that going to actually put me at? That's going to put me at like a full stack of AP ammo. Maybe two full stacks wouldn't be a bad shake. That might be a pretty good idea. So I'll just leave the rest of you guys in here. Can I go like that? Stack the rest of you in there. Junk turret can stay with me. Uh, all the ammo can go into this box. And it was all the junk turret ammo that I have on me. All right. So I need to go find myself some polymers. That's not too bad. It's not so much of an ask. Let's put you there. And just swap you over like that. Uh, is that my normal loadout? I think it is. I normally keep nine on me, but I don't have... What am I missing? Oh, because I was, oh, I was rolling with first aid kits instead of just the normal ones. There we go. You come here. Let's go nine like that. So I'm rolling with first aid kits now instead of painkillers. Because after like day 46 and that horde night where I very nearly died both times, I feel like having first aid kits on me is probably a pretty good idea. So I'm thinking just like this. I'll put you there. Uh, I might have to get rid of that next row there, maybe. I'm not sure. Plus, the bonus of this is, I'll put them both like that, is that if the blocks underneath do actually get destroyed, which I hope they won't, they're actually connected to this block back here as well. So they should stay there and still be happy as a cucumber. I'll go and grab those auto turrets and I'll have a quick little look. I mean, I did run the power and stuff as well. Plus, what I do want to do, if I have a quick little look in here, oh, because oh, the only hatches you can get to the power to these ones. And they're 54. Oh, that's expensive. No, I don't think it's worth this. What I was thinking was having like, because I, I mean, at the moment I pick up the, um, the, uh, what should I call it? The, the junk turrets, yeah? When a demo rolls around. But if I had a button or something, like if I had like the pressure plate here that I'm standing on, which I can't really do actually come to think of it given I've got that, I'll have to figure that out, I suppose. But if I stepped off it, it could flip up some hatches and block Terry's view. Now, I've thought about this for a while, but I have seen some people mention it in the comments as well, so I feel like I should address it. It's a good idea, but it's super expensive. And now looking at this... I'm not actually sure of how good of an idea it is. Like, will the will the pathing for all the zombies still work if I'm setting up on a block like this? And in that case, I'd have to get rid of all of these uh, blocks under here to replace that with a full block. Maybe that's not such a great idea. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Plus, the other side of there, if I have full blocks here, in fact, that's going to be an issue down the track. The zombies... Oh, no. I've got these blocks up here to block them. Okay, that's fine. I don't know. I don't, you know what? I'm going to go home. I'm going to get the auto turrets and kind of scope it out a little bit more. I think I'll just... Oh, I don't have battery banks, actually. I, was, I mean, no, 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 it'd be fine. I'm just going to run the, the horde base off a generator. I don't need to run a battery bank or anything like that. I have enough petrol to last, like, just the horde night. I can just turn it on and run it for one night. That'll be fine. I don't need to overthink this. Look, got heaps of generator banks. That's not an issue. I'll take you. I'll grab my wire tool. Um, and I do have pressure plates already. I'm, I'll take one and see if I can just put it down on the ground where I normally stand. Like, if I can put it there, then why not? In fact, let's take two because I might just, like, double up on it over there. That should be fine. I've got my, my turrets. Yes, I do. Um, what have I got in ammo in this box over here? Got a little bit in there. In fact, I'll take all of you and take it to the horde base anyway. It's half past nine. Not a lot of time left in the day. But that's all right. I'm going to a base that's specifically designed to stand up against the zombies. I'm sure it'll be all right for me to go and hang out. That time, I didn't get hurt driving off the roof. I don't know what the rhyme or reason is for that. But hey, the game does weird things sometimes. You just gotta grin and bear it. So first thing I want to test is this one. Go like that and go, can I just like place you... 
I can just place you like that. Okay, I think that's going to be fine. The bonus here as well is it makes these jumps easier later on. Like, that's what these hatches are for. So if I go like that, then the zombies that come up here can't actually get up there, but I actually can. So that's how that whole system works. I could replace these blocks down here with solid blocks, but... Ah, whatever. That's a job for and a problem for a later, Josh. Let's go like that and up to here. Okay, so auto turret like that. Let's go around this side and go auto turret like that. I mean, that's a pretty decent firing squad. Can I just like load you up a bullets already? I don't have enough to fully load you up. Where should I put all the power generation stuff? Let's grab you. Probably go out of the way so if a demo does explode, it's not an issue. Like there, I suppose. That should be fine. Now, what I do want to make sure I do is wire up each of these turrets individually, because otherwise, I'll say if I want to all like daisy chain them up and one of the turrets gets destroyed, then they won't all work anymore. So go there to there, this one, and go each one along the way. They should all get wired. Let's just test the furthest one. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so if they'll all work independently. That's fine. Although, I did just realize I do need to wire from this to my pressure plate, like that. And we'll go to that one. Actually, that's going to look awful. That stupid wire is going to get all in the way. God, I hate the wiring systems in this game. Let's go there to that one, that one into that one. Now, I'm going to need to put... If I'll go home and get some relays tomorrow and quickly wire it up. So, I have a relay over here and a relay over here. So, that I can wire... I'll keep all the wires out of the way. I don't want distractions when I'm trying to murder zombies. So, if I do it like that and kind of get that kind of whole, like, ring going, then I can step on those while I'm standing on those, the turrets will be on. But if a demo shows up, I jump off and I stand here and I blow it away. And then, as soon as it's clear, I can stand back on here and go back to murdering the zombies happy as Larry. That seems to be the best way to do it. I will drop all this ammo off in the box upstairs and then head on home because it's night time now and I don't want to put this place through a test run when I'm not ready for it. All right, let's go back home. I do need some more fuel. There's lots of fuel in my motorcycle. Actually, don't worry about that one. Uh, so today was probably one of the most like peaceful episodes. I've made in seven days for a very, very long time. I mean, there was no murder. There was no destruction. There was no death threats. Just me trying to make sure I don't get completely cooked in a couple of days' time. So I'll make it up to you by tomorrow. Day 54, I will go and I will go rampant on those uh, POIs over in the east. I'll raid both of those missions at the same time. In fact, I mean, I haven't raided them before. I could probably maybe pull off a quaddy raid if I head out early and start heading down there nice and early in the day before the sun even rises. I could get there at 4 a.m., raid them both, and then have that ready to go by the time the sun sets again. And then tomorrow for trade, oh no, the, 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 the day 55, when tradies restock, I can have both quests done, dusted, ready to hand in, and ready to cash in and get all the rewards for it. You can go back into here like that. I'm all stacked on that one. What am I missing there? Have I put a tool somewhere and forgotten about it? Uh, uh oh. What have I got? I got my machete, got my spade, got my steel fire axe. I'm, there's an empty slot and I don't know what it is. Oh, it's regular shotgun shells. Okay, that's fine. That's only a shotgun. Pick some of those up on the way to do those quests. It's going to be a bit of a hike. Why does my map always get blown out? I hate it so much. But if I, I mean, I have to swing past there, grab some shotgun ammo, and keep heading on down. Just here, yeah, if I go down here, just follow that path, I'll have to kind of risk the way, uh, like the, the rubble and stuff for a little bit to go around there, all the way down, hit up this POI first, head up north, head up that one. I reckon I can do it. I reckon I can do a quad raid in one day. I reckon day 54, I'm either going to die or I'm going to loot and die trying. It's going to be a big one. But I'll have to come back and knock off those POIs in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.